In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect UCG Fiber to the switch, to the access point, to the power, and how to connect using SFPs so that it is all ready for the initial setup using the iPhone or the desktop browser. Hello friends, this is David Godibaza from IT Solutions Network. I mitigate expensive downtime for businesses. So here, this is the UCG Fiber, and the UCG Fiber has the Ethernet ports. Those are all LAN ports, and then we have one internet port where you connect the ISP, WAN port, then we have the LAN port again, just like those, and the WAN port again. Now, all these ports are separate ports, that, meaning you can use all of them at once. For example, you don't have to compromise this Ethernet WAN port to use the Fiber SFP WAN port, right? You can use, use them both. So that's what I'm going to do. Here, this is the Pro Max switch, access point, and the fibers, right? I'm going to connect the ISP to the fiber. That means I'm connecting it here, and then this goes to the ISP, to my primary ISP, right? Now I'm going to connect using this fiber cable. Well, that goes to the LAN port. This is for the switch connection. And this also goes to the LAN port right here. Now, I could connect those two using the Ethernet cable, but I want to connect using the SFPs and also to show you how to connect. If you want to connect to using the Ethernet cable, you can just use this cable instead of this cable and connect from here, for example, somewhere here. Don't connect all, both together, but otherwise you'll create the loop. Now again, this port 5 is the internet port ISP1. This is the LAN port, goes to the switch. Now here, I have the module that I can use to convert SFP port to the Ethernet port. So I'm gonna plug it here. And now this port, this physical port, is ready to connect the ISP to the second ISP into our equipment, which I will do in the future videos. And I'll show you how to configure the static IPs and the VLAN for the second ISP. For now, we have the LAN connection between switch and the router. We have ready interface for the ISP the cable and the second ISP interface as well. Now this is the access point. So what we can do is connect to the port fourth, which is the PoE port. So that will power our access point and we don't have to connect this access point to the switch or the separate power because the UCG fiber on the port four is delivering the PoE. Okay, we are good now. Now let's talk about the power. This is the power brick that comes with the UCG fiber. So you see this connection here? I'm gonna plug it right here. And then this goes to the AC connector. So now I'm going to show you how to initial setup using the browser and the smartphone. And you can use whichever you want. And after that, I'll show you how to adopt devices. And that's all gonna be in the phase one. Power on and navigate to the IP address 192.168.1.1. Now, most of the time, this is gonna be the IP address you need to use to log in on your cloud gateway. And here you'll have the option to name the cloud gateway. Now, remember, whatever name you put here is gonna be your site name. So if you have multiple sites, each site will have its own gateway. So the name of the gateway is visible as the site name when you see multiple sites at once. Let's name it UCG Fiber because that's my router. I'm gonna click next here. And then here I have an option to create a UI account or login if I already have one. You can of course skip this part and click proceed without the UI account, but then you will lose these benefits like remote management, multi-factor authentication, notification on your phones or cloud backups and teleport and site magic vpn i don't want to lose that so i'm gonna click cancel here and i'll click sign in now let me quickly enter my credentials and continue and here i have an option to recover the backup from the previous configuration because i already used my account on this specific device i'm gonna click continue without the backup because i don't want to restore any of the previous backup and i'll wait so remember right now my internet connection is already plugged on the gateway so the gateway is testing the speed so that it accurately shows on the charts what's the speed and we can wait or we can skip this part now this is my speed as of today 500 megabits up and down. I'm gonna click next here and it is setting up the Unify OS. It's gonna take about a minute or less, depends on your cloud gateway model. Mine is already set up, so let's go into dashboard. So once we power on the Unify Cloud Gateway, you'll see the icon on your smartphone device in Unify application and you click setup. And once you click next, you're gonna have to wait for 10 or 15 seconds. And from there, it will ask you to name the device. Now, remember, whatever you name here, it's gonna be a site name of your dashboard. And once you click next, it will start testing the internet speed. I have 500 megabits up and down from my ISP. And here's the interesting part. 
you can see that the call quality enhancement is enabled by default. That means if you leave it enabled and you set up the cloud gateway that way, it will prioritize traffic for Microsoft Teams, Google Meeting, Zoom, FaceTime, and I do not recognize the fourth icon. Once you hit next, it will start pre-configuring Cloud Gateway and all you have to do is wait for about a minute or so. I'll fast forward for you. And that's all it takes to pre-configure your Unify Cloud Gateway using this smartphone device. Now I can manage this Cloud Gateway through the Unify portal. For that, I'm going to navigate to unify.ui.com. Here I have multiple sites and let's pick the one we are working on. That would be UCG Fiber. Now, I also connected two devices to this UCG. That would be Access Point and the Switch. I'm going to go ahead and adopt both of them. Click to adopt, click to adopt. Okay, they are adopted. Now, check this out. This is here where you see if there is an update for your devices. So, for example, if my Access Points have an update, I will see it here. And the same for the Switch. But for the Cloud Gateway itself, I'm going to go ahead and Settings, Control plane, an update for the Cloud Gateway is going to be right here. By the way, this is the update for the Unify OS console itself, not for the network application. So remember, Cloud Gateways, they have two things in it, the Unify OS console itself, and then the network application on the top of it. Now, this is the OS server update. This is not an update for the network. This is just an OS update. And right here is the network update. So currently, we have 9.2 version, 9.2. 87 and the latest update as of October 2025 is 9.5.21. So I'm going to click and update that one too. And while this is updating, let me tell you about the channels here, release channels. So release channels have the options official, release candidate, and early access. If you are subscribed to the early access, you can get the updates way before anyone else get them. However, I do not recommend testing the beta versions on the productions. The backup is automatically enabled. If you go into backups, you'll see that the backup is done weekly. You can turn this off if you want and then do backups manually only when you click backup now. Okay, the Unify console is accessible, devices are adopted and the network is visible.